Welcome back, this is the Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Verticality Suicidal. Uh, this video is going to be talking primarily about cannabis, about marijuana, about Those weed. Your way. If that's not your thing, and I know it's definitely uh, a controversial point, I know that uh, there's at least a couple of you that aren't into it, um, then you know, you can you can just skip this video the next one we're not gonna be talking about cannabis I'm not a this isn't a stoner channel okay we're uh, I'm starting to do some cannabis and, and stuff and just CBD at this point um, but you know I'm gonna be talking about it more going forward because it's a part of my life um, spoilers I liked it um, but it's not a stoner channel you know it's gonna be the same stuff but I, I talk about what I do right and I know that the, the cannabis is definitely a controversial topic to talk about but it's also you know this is this is what I'm doing this is what I'm talking about um, so we'll uh, we'll talk about it in this episode so yesterday I went to the uh, to the cannabis dispensary and I picked up um, five 10 milligram CBD gummies which is, uh, so CBD is uh, cannabidiol, I believe, um, which is not so psychoactive, so you're not going to feel very high off of it. It just kind of affects um, some, like, hormones in your brain and stuff and makes you feel kind of happy and uh, not so, like, depressed and anxiety and, and uh, helps with, like, epilepsy and stuff, pain, um, uh, that kind of stuff, right? But it doesn't give you that like euphoric high, right? Like you're not, you're not, you're not getting high off of it really. You can if you take enough of it, but um, like you gotta, you gotta take quite a bit of it to get high off of CBD, um, especially in the form of an edible because uh, edibles are actually like not all of it gets. So like I had 10 milligram CBD gummies. That's not like the same as like a 10 milligram, um, like. Uh, oil or something like that or some taken sublingually or whatever um, because not all of it gets actually um, like processed in the liver and, and all that kind of stuff and not all of it actually turns into bits that you know go through your bloodstream and then hit your brain not all of it does that right so um, like especially in the form of, of an edible it, it's it's quite hard to get like high off of it in general, it, it's just a, a good feeling thing that kind of helps relieve some depression, anxiety, and stuff like that. Anyway, so I bought five 10 milligram CBD peach gummies for like 11 or $12 or something like that, which isn't that bad. Um, last night I took one of them. I ate one of them. I didn't want to try anything more than that for my first time. I think I'd be okay taking two of them, but um, I might try that today because uh, it was there was definitely an effect there wasn't much of an effect and it didn't last particularly long um, so th I think that 20 milligrams would be fine I'm not sure I'll, I'll end up doing it I don't know I, I had a good time on, on on just 10 milligrams I might I might try it. I don't know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be experimenting and, and trying different uh, things I'm gonna be trying some THC at some point as well which is psychoactive and does get you the high although in very small dosages and again um, through an edible, uh, which is the only way that I'll be taking them, because I'm not going to be smoking anything. Maybe like sublingually or something like that, like gum, oils. Um, you know, there, there's like you can go and get like uh, marijuana pills. <laughs> they, they they sell like uh, like uh, liquid gel capsules, you know, which is funny to me. Um, you, you know that. I'll tell you straight up, the reason I ate the peach gummy wasn't because I liked the peach gummy, so, it, you know, why beat around the bush with it, right? <laughs> um, but, it was, uh, so anyway, I, I took, it took about 50 minutes before I started to notice that I was feeling anything. Um, and the thing with this is, it's like a small dosage, and then the effect is also, like, pretty minor. Because you're not, again, you're not getting, like, high off of it, right? So, like... You're not really, there isn't really like a point where you're like, oh yeah, no, I'm high, you know? Like, like when I drink or when I, um, yeah, when I drink or when I'm drunk or whatever, you know, you stand up and you're like, oh, God, I'm drunk, you know? There isn't really like that moment with, with, uh, with such a small dosage of CBD. Um, for me anyway, you know, your mileage may vary, um, but, uh, 
really kind of what happened was after about 50 minutes, I was like, I just feel strangely happy for no reason, you know? Like, like it was just, I didn't feel high, I, ju I just felt happy. And then it didn't feel like it was stemming from anything, I was just happy, you know? And um, it was really pleasant. Uh, it was better than I expected. I expected going in, like a 10 milligram CBD gummy is probably not going to be like that impactful. Um, but it, it, it really did have like a, a noticeable effect on uh, on me. And, and it was like, yeah, I'll, I'll say it. It was so much better than drinking alcohol. Like so much better. You have a big battle coming up. This I have contemplated drinking alcohol in the past, I wouldn't do it because it's like, you know, I don't want alcohol poisoning or anything like that, but I've contemplated drinking alcohol in the past for, uh, kind of, um, assisting with, uh, anxiety and stuff like that on some days. Not, not frequently, but like, um, on occasion, just, just, you know, buy some alcohol or whatever and, uh, have a nice, fun night where I don't have to worry about things. 100% not gonna do that. It's like completely off my mind now. CBD gummies are like C CBD in general is just it's it's so much better because you don't feel drunk. You don't feel. I mean, you know, I, I didn't feel anyway. Like my uh, my ability to think was affected at all. You know, like I didn't feel like I was I wasn't in, in of sane mind. You know, I didn't feel like uh, any of that kind of stuff. I just I just felt happy and uh, pleasant. You know. Um, so it was it was very strange and uh, very very nice. I also talked with my mother last night. So if you haven't been around for a while, you'll know that I ha um, I'll uh, you wouldn't know, but um, I have like really bad anxiety. I'm actually I have selective mutism, um, which I don't know if it's like an official thing or whatever. This is just a wall here. Okay, um, I don't know if it's like an official thing or whatever, but I know that there are a lot of people who. Uh, definitely agree with me that it exists um, because there are some times when I can't talk and it's not like um, you saw the stats and stuff it's not like uh, I don't know how to explain it there's this like mental block and I can't verbalize anything I can't laugh I can't if I stub my toe I can't be like ow I can't uh, you know like none of that like if I was being murdered I wouldn't be able to scream you know like like genuinely the ability to talk is completely removed from me, right? Like, I, I just cannot talk in, in these situations. And um, it's called selective mutism. And again, I don't know if it's like a, a real thing, but uh, I, can, I, I can confirm that whether real or not, there is something that causes this effect um, in many people. Um, whether it's its own diagnosis or whatever, I think it's, it's typically like... A, a part of like anxiety or autism or, or uh, something like that, right? Um, but anyway, so I'm not able to talk to most people. I can record videos, which is people question my like how I can do that since I like can't talk to them, and I'm like well, I don't know, I just I don't have issues with recording video. Um, I can talk to my sister. I have no problems with talking to her. I can talk to um, my friends in uh, in the Raymeter Discord to a pretty decent extent. Uh, I can talk to my RuneScape clan, and sometimes when I'm at the grocery store, I can talk to the cashier. And that's it. Like, like actually, when I go to get my pills, I have to like write a note saying who I am, what medication I'm looking for, answer all the questions that they're going to answer ahead of time kind of thing. Um, when I'm... Yeah, like, like I have to think around this because I cannot talk to them. Um, last night, I was... You know, feeling my 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 serotonin, you know, and uh, I don't know. My my mother asked me a question and I answered. And uh, you know, I'm not. Uh, I don't want to develop a reliance on cannabis because that sounds like just really bad. But um, like, yeah, I, I I gotta say it was like. Okay. Cool. My mother is saying tomorrow was garbage day, so we could. Oh my god! I'm just like, why so many dang edars? Hey, eh? we don't need this many edars, okay? Um. So anyway, and husks. Oh my god. 
It's like an easy map until you start getting all of the ranged enemies just flooding you, you know? And all of a sudden it's impossible. Like husks only wave on this? Psst, see ya, dude. Oh my god. Um, oh. I don't- I want to be talking, but like, this is concentration mode here, okay? Now we're okay. Now we're okay. Yeah, man, my mother asked, asked me a question, and I answered it. I don't want to develop a reliance on it. I don't want to only be able to, uh, to function when I'm, uh, when I'm under the influence of CBD, but I will say it was, it was, I didn't, I didn't get any bad feelings. You know what I mean? Like, like, when I, when I've drank alcohol in the past, I've, I've woken up and I've had, you know, a headache. I've woken up and been like, uh, I just don't even remember what I did last night. You know, I, I, I feel sick, I feel like I'm like, I wait, I guess, I guess what I'm saying is when I drink alcohol, I oftentimes wake up and I'm like, yeah, I'm never doing that again. You know what I mean? Even, even while I'm drunk, I'm like, yeah, I, I'm not doing this again. This is not very good, you know? Like, even while we're, uh, even while we are, like, while I'm drunk, <laughs> I'm I'm able to think that this was not a good idea. I had no no experience like that when I was uh w with the CBD. Nothing like that. It was it was exclusively a pleasant experience. There was nothing bad at all about it. And you know, part of that you know, you could uh, definitely associate with um with uh you know it being a happy drug basically. <laughs> So, you know, you're obviously going to feel pretty happy while you're while you're on it, but I don't know. Like even cuz I was it hit me after about 50 minutes and uh again like uh it wasn't really an immediate effect, you know? Like I couldn't really tell exactly what minute it it started to affect me. It was just like at one point I was I just noticed that like I just feel strangely happy and that kind of happened when it was going away too. Like at one point, I just realized I wasn't feeling strangely happy anymore. I wasn't feeling like sad. Like I don't normally live a super depressed life, but I definitely was like, yeah, this this strange happiness is just gone. And uh, I was in bed, and I was like, yeah, I'm just like back to normal now. There, there wasn't like. A, a burnout afterwards. There wasn't. There, there was nothing. It was just like it ended, and I was like, "Oh, it's over." All right. You know, like <laughs> there, there was nothing, and that doesn't happen with alcohol. Like I kind of like with alcohol, I kind of come down off of it, and I'm like, I got like kind of a headache. It kind of like slowly wears off, you know, with the with the CBD. It, not none of that. You know, it was just like it was there, and then. Uh, I kind of uh, was done with it afterwards, and I was like, yeah. My friend was like, hey, if you're needing help sleeping, like, take another one or whatever. I'm like, nah, that sounds like a bad idea. I, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start popping CBD gummies every time I'm, I, uh, I want to sleep a little bit better. I was kind of hoping that uh, one of the effects of it, because it does help with insomnia, I was kind of hoping that one of the effects would be that I would get, um, like, better nights sleep when I'm on it, so I could, uh, I could take it before I'm, like, uh, gonna go to sleep and have like a, a big day or whatever and uh, not really uh, not not really a thing for me because like it stopped after two hours right like that's not enough time to have a good sleep <laughs> in my opinion anyway but I'm probably next time I play d and I'm probably gonna take uh, like a CBD gummy before I go to bed because like why not right like it might it might help me get to sleep you know once you are asleep you know maybe you know, you're, you're, it wears off, and you're not really feeling that weird happy. But you're asleep already, so you know, as long as you don't get woken up or whatever, you're you're good, right? Um. So it was, uh, yeah, it was just it was a really cool experience, all in all. And I think my conclusion with it is, as long as it's legal where you are, and you're of the legal age, and you're not very young, you know, like 23, 24 ish. Try it. <laughs> Try it. 
kind of weather makes you know like i don't know if it's gonna be a, a life-changing experience for you i don't know if it was a life-changing experience for me but um my my opinion on the matter has changed i i understand it now you know like i've heard people talking about cbd and thc and and all these things before and 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 they're all saying drink and they all say things like oh yeah like it's uh it helps me uh, with my depression, helps with my anxiety, I feel so much better now, and blah 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 blah, you know? Uh, and, uh, I get it now, you know? Like, I get it. I have, I have first-hand experience with that. I totally understand how somebody would be like, yeah, it just makes me feel good. Like, I don't really get high off of it, it just, it just helps me, like, get through the day. And I'm like, I totally understand that, and, um, I, I don't think that... It's the same as when you when people are saying the same thing about alcohol because like, it really is just like, a weird happiness. Now, obviously, with as with anything, you can definitely do too much. You can develop a reliance. You can develop an addiction. I think that that's bad. Um, but like, I totally I totally get it. You know, like I, I I get it. It makes sense. It totally does. Um, so I will definitely be going back to the cannabis dispensary, and uh, I will definitely be getting more. We'll do another one. It's only se it's like 17 minutes at this point. That's not long enough. I'll definitely be going back to the cannabis dispensary. I'll definitely be getting um, more uh, CBD for sure. I want to try other things too, right? Because you got edibles. Um, you got like topical stuff, right? You got uh, your sublingual stuff, your oils, your gums, Safety's off. Um, that kind of stuff. I definitely want to try uh, different methods of, uh, you know, getting it <laughs> um, and see see what kind of like works best for me and then kind of just stick with that. Because again, like there's a huge variety, but the reality is you're not you're not doing it because you like the taste of the gummies. You're not you're not doing it because you you're doing it because you want the the effects that the drug has on you like that's the other thing the gummies I got these uh, these peach gummies and they look and taste like normal peach gummies you could hand me a bag of them and I would not know that there's cannabis in it at all which is a scary thought and uh, yeah <laughs> it's, it's kind of a scary thought um, because like it's just straight up a peach gummy. There is nothing unusual about it at all. Um, which is what I had expected, right? But I don't know. I guess I expected it to be more weedy or something. <laughs> I don't know. But it was uh, it was just a normal peach gummy, and then like an hour later, I felt good. <laughs> so. Definitely no, like, impact on the flavor of it. I mean, it's like 10 milligrams in a gummy, right? Like, it's such a tiny amount, it's probably not going to affect anything. It's not sulfur. It's not super aromatic, right? It's, um, not going to impact the, the flavor of it much, and it definitely doesn't. Um, and then the, like, feel of it and the look of it, it just, it looked, like, it, 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 the thing is, is, it comes in, I got it right here in my drawer. It comes in this, like... You know, like child protected uh, um, canister, like pills or whatever. And then inside is just uh, these five peach gummies that just look like normal peach gummies. But it's 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 kind of funny because it's like quite a large thing, and then the gummies themselves are quite small, like uh, uh, fuzzy peaches, but without the fuzz and a little bit taller. Um, but it's like, uh, yeah, it just, um, <laughs> other than the, the, the super, like, this is CBD kind of, um, uh, container that it's in, it, it's just a normal peach gummy. And, uh, I think that's good, but I don't know, I'm gonna try some other methods of, uh, getting it just to see what kind of fits me best but uh yeah no it, <laughs> it is kind of funny though because it is this like giant container it's not really giant 
Looks like it's a, like a wide Tylenol bottle. Um, and then it's got these, uh, just these five tiny gummies in it. It's, it's so much empty space inside, I'm like... Wow. <laughs> I want something that's, uh... I don't know, it feels, it, it, it feels like kind of, uh... Kind of, uh... Um... Waste of plastic to me. You know, it feels like waste. Just, just like needless waste. But then at the same time, um, when you're selling like legal cannabis, right? You have to make sure that there's a way for um, police to know that um, to know that it's not uh, fake, right? So it's got this uh, like maple leaf sticker on it with the BC duty paid Canada. ID and, and all this kind of stuff right on the seal so you can so if a cop pulls you over while you're driving around or whatever you can be like yeah I do have cannabis in the car it's not opened and it has the the official seal on it and you're like all right yeah it's not opened and you don't go to jail or like realistically get a fine and stuff I would have my license taken away if I had uh, open cannabis in my car because I'm still a new driver I've had my license for like eight years or something like that now I just have never gone and gotten my full license. I uh, I will at some point. I just haven't done it yet. Um, but yeah, it was uh, it was an interesting experience. And and the one that the one thing that I don't like about it is how much just plastic is being used up by it. Cause it's like just I don't know. Like, can I buy more of them at a time? <laughs> you know. Like I just I don't I don't want to take a whole ton of them at once and stuff, but like at the same time it just it feels bad having it in such a, a large plastic container. But then how do you get around that? Cause you 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 can't just put it in like a Ziploc bag, right? Cause that's open cannabis. You have no way of proving that you were intending to take it or that uh, you know you haven't been taking it or whatever. Like like it, it's open cannabis in your car, right? You, you just it's not a, it's not it's not okay. Couldn't make it look um, so, either that or it has to be a uh, non-accessible. But uh, since I'm a new driver, it has to be definitely non-opened. Um, so, yeah, but uh, I don't know. It was, it was. I expected it to be okay. It was so much better than I expected. Now I don't want to get like hype people up. Like it wasn't much. I expected it to be like almost nothing right so don't get don't get hyped up about it if you're again of the legal age and uh, somewhere where it is legal um, I wouldn't it was a good experience I wouldn't say it's worth breaking the law for personally there are some things where I would consider it to be worth breaking the law for and for reasons that are obvious I'm not going to get into them um, actually I will I have a I have a pocket knife that's illegal I have a pocket knife that is illegal. I don't know where it is. So, um, cops, if you're watching this, I can't actually uh, get rid of it. Uh, it used to be legal when I bought it, you know? I don't know where it is anymore, though. I've lost it. So. But I do want a pocket knife that's legal. And, um, again, like I bought it when it was legal. Would I have bought it when it was. Uh, when it, would I have bought it when it was uh, illegal? Probably, yeah. I mean, the thing is, is uh, Canada knife laws are kind of strange. Um, if you consider it a knife then it's illegal if you consider it a tool then it's legal it's just kind of about how it's, it's all about it's 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 intent stuff you know it's intent stuff if i get pulled over and i say yeah i have a knife if they're like do you have any weapons in the car and i pull out my knife they're like oh that's illegal if uh, if uh, they're like do you have any weapons in the car and i'm like uh no but i do have a knife then they're like oh yeah can you get that to me please and it's not illegal and it depends on you know kind of how the cop handles it and blah 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 but like it's it's very it's kind of like in america you can't say that you have a suppressor you have to call it a diffuser or something stupid <laughs> it's all uh, it's all the same stuff though but uh yeah, no, it was it was a good experience yesterday, all in all. Very good. Highly, highly, highly recommend if you're of age and it's legal where you are. I don't recommend doing it if it's legal. It's not. I, it wasn't that good. It was great. Not 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 great enough to be like, yeah, I'm gonna break the law to do it. Absolutely not. I wouldn't do that. Not a chance. 
Not a chance in heck, dude. Anyhoozle, let's open up these Halloween treat tickets. We got like a bunch of them now. Let's just go open them. Why not, right? Why not? Why the heck skis not, bro? Uh, this should be an inventory, crafting, Halloween treat tickets. We got a few of them. Confirm. I don't think there's anything like really good in them, though. I don't think anything in them is really that great. I mean, that looks kind of okay, I guess. Sure. Equip it. I know it's going to consume the dang resource. I wish you could use like multiple at a time. You can break stuff down multiples at a time now, which is cool. Rare player accessory. It uses a variable amount every time too, I think. Or is it using four per? Clown mask. Yeah, it's using five. I, we had 48. Right? Now we have 35. I'm just a little bit confused how we went from 48 to 35. A little bit confused. Um, I don't quite understand it. But, you know, it's okay. How many vault points we have now? Let's check that out as well. Why not, right? Why not? If you don't want to listen to me talk about cannabis, you don't get to watch it. Alright, now we're at 26. Like, I don't quite understand how we're saving tickets on occasion. Halo. No, I don't think there's anything really that good in these, though. I really don't. None of this stuff kind of interests me that much, honestly. Looks like okay, but... Eh. I don't really think it's worth going through the effort to open them up, honestly. Kind of just feels like a uh, waste of time. <laughs> now we're at 5 again. We were at 16 or 11 or whatever. When we went down to 5, we used 6 on that one. Like, what the heck? Why is it so inaccurate? This one's taking forever. This is a, this is a good one right here. This would best be a good one. I guess we don't yet. Yeah, okay, now we're at four. Cool. <laughs> okay. Vault crate. We did prestige one. We prestiged the commando and the survivalist, actually, so we should get quite a few vault crates here. We should get quite a few. been a while since we've opened them too so there should definitely be uh, a fair number of uh, cash piles definitely ooh that's all we got eh it's filling up okay you know it's filling up okay inventory um, I don't see here it is yeah we only have 50 I don't know why I only have 50, because I feel like I should have more, but whatever. It's okay. That's going to do it for today, though, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more of the future comments if you have anything to say, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.